From gas stations to pharmacies all around us, stores are selling CBD products marketed as a way to help with pain and stress. CBD is made from the hemp plant, which is in the same family of plants as marijuana, but without THC or with a very low amount, and it doesn't get you high. If you find this connection between CBD products and weed a little bit confusing, you're not alone. A Kayla Strayer has an in-depth look at a gray area of CBD laws in Georgia, something that even law enforcement officers admit is confusing and because of that people are selling and buying illegal products. In Tennessee, CBD laws more closely match with the federal farm bill, so there's not as much confusion. But in Georgia, state law does not match federal law. We found out some businesses are selling illegal CBD products, and customers are buying them without realizing that it's not legal. For example, today I spoke with eight different businesses that sell CBD products in North Georgia. Half of them tell me they sell CBD with a small percentage of THC. That tiny amount may be legal under federal federal law, but it's not in Georgia. Five years ago, Josh Manning nearly lost his life in a motorcycle crash on I-75. Damaged my right side, lost my right leg. He spent a year and a half on pain pills. I dealt with a lot of anger issues with pain management. But all that changed when he discovered CBD, a natural product derived from hemp. CBD helped with his pain, anxiety, and stress. Now... Are you on any pain medication at all? I don't take any pain medication. Cannabidiol, or CBD, is in the same cannabis family as the marijuana plant, but without THC or a low amount, it won't get you high like marijuana would. It helps calm my mind down, helps calm my body down as well. After experiencing the benefits firsthand, Josh started selling CBD products last year at the I-75 flea market in Rossville. Things were going great until about eight months later. Josh says a local officer told them they couldn't sell CBD because it was illegal in Georgia. <laughs> threatened with felonies, he complied, leaving Georgia and opening this shop across the state line in East Ridge. It's affordable. It's legal now. You know, it's 50 state legal. Of course, each state has their own uh, legality laws behind it. We sat down with Dwayne Brown, the commander for the Lookout Mountain Judicial Circuit Drug Task Force based in Lafayette. Been in law enforcement for 21 years. Dwayne agrees. Georgia law is confusing right now. There's a whole lot of confusion. We're not a federal agency here, so we follow the state Loss. Federal law says CBD containing 0.3% THC or less is legal, but Georgia state law says CBD with any THC amount is illegal. The stores are everywhere. You can drive down any road and see, you know, we sell CBD. Dwayne says they only investigate CBD sellers if they get complaints. We're not out just targeting folks for this stuff that's going on. Like Josh, Dwayne also sees CBD as a way to help with the opioid crisis. I'm not not against the CBD oil. They're not having to take all these opioid pills, which is a huge problem for our nation right now. You know, I think there's benefits to it. In 16 months, he says they've made three arrests after they got complaints about people selling CBD products containing THC. We don't go out and target those stores. One of those stores is just down the road from Dwayne's office, Ledford Pharmacy. Owner and pharmacist Madison Ledford is a big fan of CBD products. It's safe. It's natural. He he uses it for stress. The coffee with the CBD oil in it is great. But says even more importantly. It's such a good alternative to opiates. And those are all synthetic, made by Big Pharma to make money. Even this pharmacist is confused by the current law. I think you can have 0.3 percent or something like that. Remember, currently in Georgia, you can't sell CBD products with any amount of THC, no matter how little. Madison says his products are THC-free, so he's not worried either way. I have uh, police officers coming here every day. Everyone we talk to, though, is looking forward to more consistency between U.S. law and Georgia law. Law. We're not here to just take everybody to jail. We're here to educate them, too, and, and, and help them the best way we can. Change is on the way. Just this month, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp signed the Hemp Farming Act. This means in July it will be legal for hemp to be grown in the state and certain CBD products to contain 0.03% or less of THC. Reporting for News Channel 9, I'm Kayla Strayer. There's a lot to know if you use those products for sure. The Drug Task Force says even with the new law, any CBD edibles or leafy products containing any THC will still be illegal.